Hello, my name is Draconic Rose. Welcome to Project Hospital, the release version. Version 1.0 point something something something, the new one. You can see the menu has changed, which I don't know why I like the old one. The music is uh, still awesome. And now we have campaign mode. Which has the tutorials that I've already played. Uh, and uh, a few more. Then campaign and challenges. The campaign uh, I don't think is uh, entirely finished and truly balanced. There is still being updates to tweak things and stuff. But we are going to start by going through the tutorial again because the tutorials have been fixed and tweaked and changed and stuff and things and I'll see what it looks. Going in we get our first tutorial message which says Hi boss, thank you for coming back to help us. We know that you had your reasons for retirement but we can really use someone with our talents. We know you're good at diagnosing pac patients. We're having some staff issues at the clinic. Could you help us with a few patients? Oh, don't worry, I'll remind you how everything works here. First, let's have a closer look to see what's going on. You can zoom in and out with the mouse. You notice that all the walls are up, obstructing the view. Change the view to your liking, so this. Excellent, now select the patient who's been patiently waiting for us in the doctor's office. This is the patient's card, it will give all the important information and you can control what happens to your patients from here. On the right side you'll find the history of the last six selected characters. Click the portrait of any character and the camera will center on them. You can choose who is responsible for your patient, either you let your staff take care of them or you can take over directly. Let's keep this patient under your control. The upper part of the card shows you the patient's personal data and department assignment. So it is uh, assigned to the emergency and she's a 40 year old female accountant, she's uninsured, her needs are fine. The needs panel on the right shows the satisfaction level and you can see the character's perks and quirks bef below that which you can't really see at this point. The next panel shows all the possible diagnoses that match the patient's known symptoms ordered from the most likely one. Selecting a diagnosis will set it as the final one. The symptoms panel reveals the symptoms we know and don't know. Uh, and the examination panel, uh, which uh, well tells us what we can do to reveal what the hidden symptoms are. Now let me just, uh, while we're here, Turn off automatic UI scale <laughs> and yeah, leave it like that. You can see the options menu changed as well. And as always, we can just move things up and down. So now we want to task for, test for the skin allergy. Let's um, try and move time. Can we? I don't think we can uh, speed up time yet for the tutorial. Well, either that or the controls got a little bit squished from the... Well, yes and no. Let's uh, do it this way, it's less, less smooshed. But uh, yeah, uh, we're getting the, the allergies checked in. It's gonna be a little bit slow. I do like the graphics on this, they're, they're so cool. It's not like as polished and fluid as Two Point Hospital, but uh, it works and it, it's soothing, I, I think. Anyway, skin allergy being performed. Medium discomfort, okay. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, this is useful. I think I prefer it this way. Let me know if you'd like to see the doors and windows. Anyway, a uh, skin allergy test has ended. Now the doctor is just uh, cleaning, cleaning up what uh, she used and stuff. Sterilizing her instruments. Nice. I do like that they removed receptionists and added like a little ticket system instead. Procedure has finished and it's hay fever. 
No other way around it. Nothing stops us from treating the patient. You can hover over the diagnosis suggested diagnosis to see the tooltip, which will suggest the correct treatment of the histamines. So we'll treat her with that. Good job. Depending on the treatment, the patient will either be cured or might return later with new symptoms. Let's move on. Here is our next patient. Uh, some examinations are not available because they need special rooms. Let's see what's missing. We don't have a technologist or the x-ray room. So we are going to build one. Uh, hmm. Everything should be in order now. When they open the patient's card again. Yeah, they built a radiologist room for us. So let's x-ray her. Uh, if you want to be kept in the loop, must keep the patient under your care as monitor. The same icon switches between all the modes. Right now the patient is under your care, just as we need. And the card can be closed. This examination takes some time and you can fast for... Ah, here they are. Let's watch what happens. Uh, I'm actually gonna put it on two so that uh, we can see... Oh, boy. Let's move the card a little bit so that I can close it. Yeah, player control. Yeah, good. Which is gonna be scanned, a uh, lab procedure has ended and revealed a symptom. A scoliosis, yeah. And what's the treatment for that? It's exercise. Can we? Yeah, okay. Scoliosis is usually painless? Eh, I suppose. Yeah, pop up or log and okay. Last examination gave us the diagnosis. Uh, usually running tests is the most certain way to confirm a diagnosis, but they also take a lot of time. You can finish treating the patient yourself or leave it up to the doctor. Now let's treat for patients. Okay, so you're doctored and let's see. Let's give four of them. I want to be player controlled. Let's interview. Nasal congestion, sneezing, cough, itchy eyes, you have hay fever. Uh, okay, that's uh, antihistamines. Yeah, I'm a real doctor, not. Uh, to pause, press space, they'd never told us that. But uh, yeah. So now what happens is the doctor selects next and the ticket system will just grab the next. So uh, yeah, have the interview. Uh, chronic fatigue symptom, go ahead. That's exercise. Okay. There you go. You good dude, go home. You. Uh, rash, contact dermatitis. Ooh. Um, like we'll have to do the allergy test. <laughs> Did you see that? She was playing solitaire than watching YouTube. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's cool. It's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, contact dermatitis. Uh, perfect. So that, uh, antihistamines, and then go home. There you go. Next one. That would be you. You? Yes. So, headache. Fever. Um. Oh boy. So they're in the head. Um. Let's uh, do neck palpations. Well, let's read that as palpitations, but no, it's palpations like feeling, feeling the neck. 
Okay, uh, don't think that revealed anything. Mm. Chest auscultation. Also nothing. Well, let's go with the general physical. Wow, she's she's a difficult case. Actually, let's uh, just queue up shit until. Up oh, shingles. There we go. Antivirals. So, uh... Add antivirals, send her home. And then we'll see who is next. Actually, I think that makes her our fourth patient of the day. Yeah, click next, move to continue. Alright, so th this first tutorial already taught us a bunch of stuff, like condensed in one, which I think I remember we had two tutorials for. Um, it was the um, time and movement control, and then um, the, the patient and diagnosis. Tutorial 2. Build a functional small clinic. Hi boss, we also know that diagnosing was not the only thing that you did. You are also good at building hospitals, so welcome to this nice property we recently acquired. Let us refresh a little bit on how to build and equip your very own hospital, and what options there are. Alright, let's build a nice little clinic first. Let's switch to the building mode. You can click the button, you can build foundations, 20 by 20 tiles, so I'm just gonna go with uh, what the tutorial wants for now, so 20 by 20. Uh, there's five main categories, that's foundations, constructions, uh, doors and windows, objects and prefabs. Each category is further divided in subcategories, don't forget there's a tooltip, yes. Um, select management mode, uh, which means we want to build a waiting room for the clinic. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, question. 4x2. Waiting room can be placed there. Uh, doctor's office. I'm actually going to do something dumb like this. Now let's build some walls because I want to go to the prefabs. Uh, and do... Um, where's the res uh, maybe here. Yeah, the waiting room six by. Yep. Here we go. That's what I want to do. Uh, and now I want to do a doctor's office. This one comes with walls while the waiting room didn't. That's fine. And the restroom. Which uh, is a little bit blocked over there, where the door is, uh, but that's okay. So let's uh, build walls random, randomly, randomly walls, uh, and put them here and there, and uh, could probably use some back there. Now I want to move. How do I rotate R? Yes, good. Uh, and there's the door. I think. Yes. Perfect. Uh, walls are not required for rooms to function, but some things need to be hung on the wall. You can also choose a wall color, build uh, how you want to build them. You, you can't really see them, but here's a um, light drag rectangular walls. It, uh, you, this is fast scrolling, uh, but you can build uh, an immediate room and you can also delete that room. Pretty nice. Uh, the, yes. Floors, windows, uh, simply click on the floor. Yeah, that's how you see uh, the things you are missing. 
Actually, does this look like I'm missing the... Well, I'm missing a wall, first of all. So, let's uh, add it. And... I think with this uh, rectangle tool you can replace walls. Uh, no, not with that one. That one deletes them. Replace. There we go. Uh, that That's just a, a blank white wall, so nothing uh, decent there. But uh, we can and should add that info TV, uh, which um, well, let, lets people know it's their turn. And let's uh, rotate that. Where would I put it? I actually bored the door there. Let's put it here. Let's put the, the Q machine right under it. And let's grab uh, another door since I screwed it up. And uh, put it here. There you go. Okay. I do also don't have a door to the doctor's office, so... <laughs> um, I think there was a door that was... No. But uh, I'll add this one. I, I like I like it. So there we go. Equip your rooms. Um, I have equipment table. I don't know. And placing can be... Yeah, okay. Oh, I think I need to go into management mode. And say that this is my waiting room for this um, this place, uh, doctor's office here. Whoa, there's a no this room over here. How do I delete that? Is it this way. Yeah, I think so. I'm actually gonna delete everything and then add the floor plan again. I think this is a better way to do it, to be honest. Like, put the rooms in first and then select them. Okay, so that works. Uh, missing equipment. What equipment is it missing? Is it this eye test? Is this like something new? Okay, I'll add it. Uh, no. Bad spot. There? Oh god. Oh god. Um look this clock is pretty useless, so I'm going to D there now it shouldn't be missing anything there, nothing there and nothing oh. nothing is missing there. Group. Wait, is it it's usable there? I suppose. Uh, no, that it's not what I want to move. I said that is not what I want to move. Oh boy. Sometimes things aren't easy. Mm -hmm. Why do I need this equipment table anyway? Where did it go now? Oh god. I'm great at this game. I really, really am. Um, there. 
It does say I need the equipment table, so... You know what I definitely don't need? A sofa. Do I... Yay, I can... I can do that. Okay, uh, equipment table. There. Does that mean there's something I need to put on that equipment table? No. So, equip doctor's office, equip the... Okay, turns out I just needed to add a, a door for them to access the reception area and the rest of the thing, and okay. There's optional equipment, uh, they just improve the room, at select in-game tutorials, hiring new staff. Um, in-game tutorials are cool, so that uh, if you forget how to do something, it tells you. So, management mode new staff, a profession, so we need a doctor, choose the day shift, uh -huh. and select the character, we need a general medicine practitioner. Okay, let's put them somewhere, uh, and that's done. Uh, when you have more departments, you can switch between them using the icons down here. Uh, select radiology and open management mode. Build and equip a functional radiology department. Okay, waiting room, x-ray room, and restrooms. Uh, waiting room... Hmm. I think I'm just going to make it like it's another building. Let's look at it again. Okay, so the x X-ray room will be this one. And you can rotate rooms just like objects by pressing R. Uh, so that's cool. Put it down here. Because they're like X-ray rooms, they're really big. Uh, let's use one of these restrooms. This restroom is huge, though. Um, I like the music. I am sorry, but I do. I like the music. And it needs a... Not, not you. You. A waiting room. Waiting room. It's a cleaning closet. Why isn't there a waiting room? Okay, I can use this one. Okay, that works. Uh, then I'm going to just build walls around it. Around the place here. I'm going to add a door, because people need to be able to get in. Yeah, that'll be the door into the radiology waiting room. And um, I need to go into management mode and go into the little of this. Then say waiting room. X-ray room and restroom there that way i make sure that things are as we need them now let's hire a radiologist um sure uh treat six patients okay perfect uh i do want to I have a bit of a floor there. I, I'm not entirely sure which floor this is. Oh, that's that's clearly not it. But uh, it's a white floor. Small, medium, just white floor. Yeah? That'll do, Pig. Uh, it might be like one of these with another color, but I don't. 
could even be this, uh, or this, I don't know, I don't care, uh, I just didn't want that to look, well, as it did. So we will treat uh, six patients, and actually let's, uh, let's take over. Okay, uh, you probably carpal tunnel, but let's have you x-rayed. And you, six hidden symptoms, uh, interview, and the other, no, yes, you, uh, no, you're still doing the thing. A fracture of finger. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. And what? Arm cast? Okay. Go be sent home. What about this guy? He's being x rayed. Uh, and you're definitely go for Selbo. Which requires an ice wrap. Uh, so now you're under doctor. Wish I could right click to um, move backwards. What about you? You have an arm cast. You are being sent home. Perfect. Who's next? You. Back pain. That's all. Um, mm, abdomen, neck, blood pressure. Well, it's gonna have to be physical. Scoliosis, you do exercise. Go home. You. Jennifer Taylor, okay. Common cold. Uh. Wait, no. Uh, you, we already know you have a... Uh, could be viral tonsillitis, but... We'll see. And you might hear whenever... Uh, there, you saw that? That means... The doctor has finished uh, a diagnosis and has earned some experience. Well, okay. Um, that will be it for today's episode. I'm going to treat the next six patients and I'll come back once I, I'm ready for the next part. So until then, remember, here uh, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.